All right, uh, so we will solve a problem where uh, we will distinguish between a component and a projection of a vector. Uh, so we will first uh, set up the problem here. Uh, so we have um, two directions once again as uh, in the previous problem uh, we solved on uh, force components. Uh, so here are the two directions. I have the V direction and then I have the U direction. So this is U and this is V. And I have a force vector uh, which is uh, given to me here as having a magnitude of uh, 250 newtons. Let's call this as uh, force F whose magnitude is given to us. Uh, some angle information is also given to us. Uh, we have uh, this vertical line extending here and uh, as before this angle is given to us as uh, 105 degrees and then uh, we have this angle inside here uh, between F and the uh, U direction uh, given as uh, 30 degrees. Right. Uh, so there are several things that we need to find in this problem. Uh, the first uh, couple of things that we need to find are the components of the force F along the U and the V directions. Okay, so components along the U and the V directions. Then we also need to find the projection of the force F along the U and the V direction. Let's call this as F projection along the U and then F projection along the V. Right? So these are the two things that we need to find out. So let's start off by uh, looking at the components and uh, we will employ the same ideas as uh, we have used in the past uh, in order to find the components. That is essentially draw lines uh, parallel to the given directions from the uh, head of the force uh, F. Uh, so let's start off by looking at it this way. So first of all I have the two directions U and V. So this is U and this is V and then I have the force vector F which is given here uh, starting from its tail so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw a line from the head of F parallel to the V direction and I'm going to do the same thing uh, from the head of F draw a line parallel to the U direction right so here is that line more or less parallel and uh, these guys are going to be intersecting the U and the V directions as shown which means that the components in this case will be coming out from the tail of the force vector F and this is going to be F suffix U and uh, this little fellow here is going to be F suffix V right and uh, of course this is the uh, vector F by itself uh, so we have these components and of course uh, since this is a parallelogram I can say that uh, okay this side here is also going to be F suffix uh, V right and uh, my interest is in this uh, triangle here which I'm going to shade in uh, blue color and uh, somehow I need to find out the angles inside here and uh, we're going to make use of the same idea that uh, you know, if I see two angles that add up, that add up to 180 degrees and uh, then obviously if I know one I can find the other uh, so just to find the angles once again I have the following situation I have the U and I have the V uh, directions I'm going to extend this here a little bit uh, now I know that this is 105 degrees and I know that uh, the force vector is uh, sitting somewhere here I know that this angle is 30 degrees which means that if I add up the 105 and the 30 and this angle right here I need to be getting 180 degrees obviously 105 and 30 is 135 and the remaining angle has to be 45 degrees right here this is the uh, V direction and the U direction just to be sure now uh, we have the triangle that we are interested in if I draw a line and complete the triangle I know that this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here because these two lines as you can see uh, the V line and this dotted line which is extending right here are parallel lines which means that these become uh, alternate angles here and uh, so this angle here is 
45 degrees and obviously I know that okay this is now a triangle so the total sum of these three angles put together must be 180 degrees which means that this angle right there is 180 minus 30 minus 45 30 and 45 is 75 so 180 minus 75 is 105 degrees right uh, so we have now discerned all the angles inside this uh, triangle that was of interest to us once again this uh, uh, blue triangle is uh, what we are uh, interested in uh, we have this as the force vector f now i'm going to look at only the magnitudes because i know the directions now this is going to be f suffix uh, u and this was uh, f suffix v as we had labeled previously and my next step is to look at uh, only that uh, blue triangle that we have seen in the uh, previous uh, page uh, including all the angles that are present there as well okay all right so now i have the blue triangle i have the force f and then i have f suffix u and then i have f suffix v so this is F which has a magnitude of uh, 250 Newtons. This is F suffix V from before. This is F suffix U. I have some angle information inside here. This angle originally given to me was 30 degrees. This angle we found out was 45 and this angle here is 105. Right. And uh, so all we have to do is employ the law of sines again or the sine rule once again and if we use the sine rule then I see that the force F divided by the angle opposite to that which is the 105 degrees so this is going to be F by sine of 105 this will be equal to the force FV by sine of the angle opposite to that side which is sine 30 so this is going to be FV by sine of 30 and uh, this has to be equal to the force f suffix u the last one remaining divided by the sine of the angle opposite to that which is 45 degrees i do not have much space but i'm trying to sneak it in here f suffix u by sine 45 and uh, as before uh, we can uh, consider pairs of these i can also consider this pair and that pair together uh, once I'm done with uh, finding f suffix v uh, so once I do that I have f suffix v as the following so f is 250 newtons so this is uh, 250 times cross multiplying sine of 30 by sine of uh, 105 and uh, this gives me 129.4 newtons then I can do the same thing I can find out f suffix u I can either use the result that I obtained for f suffix v or as I have indicated here I can use the combination of f suffix u by sine 45 with the f uh, divided by sine 105 either one is fine so this is once again uh, 250 newtons cross multiply sine 45 by sine 105 and uh, this is going to give us 183.01 newtons all right uh, so these are the components uh, what we have found out okay so the components are f suffix v and f suffix u now these are different from the projections which uh, we will see um, is obtained in the following fashion all right uh, so in order to find the projections i once again draw the directions that i'm given uh, so i have the v direction then i have the u direction this is the u this is the v and then i have the force vector f which is drawn here now in order to find the projection of the force f on the u direction and the v direction uh, first of all i mark the angles that i already have from before i know that uh, this angle is going to be 30 degrees and I know that this angle here from before was uh, 45 degrees and uh, here is the force F projection is obtained by taking a line from the head of the force F and dropping a perpendicular onto the desired direction that we want so for example if I have to find the projection of F along the U direction from the head of the force F I drop a perpendicular 
on to the U direction and starting from the tail here all the way on to the point of intersection is going to be my projection F projection along the U direction and I do the same thing uh, along the V direction as well starting from the head of uh, the force vector F I drop a perpendicular line onto the V direction and I see that okay from the tail of F all the way here is going to be F projection along the V direction right and uh, so I have these two triangles that are of interest to me so here is the first one with the 30 degree angle here and then the second triangle is the other one uh, with the 45 degree angle right there uh, so here is the second triangle and uh, from these two triangles it's it's quite um, evident uh, that the uh, projection is going to be given by the magnitude of the force times the cosine of the angle between the projection and the force uh, so from this case we can find out uh, that f projection along the u direction is f times cosine of the angle between the force f and u which is going to be 30 degrees f is 250 newtons so this is essentially 250 times cosine 30 and uh, this gives us uh, an answer of uh, 216.5 newtons then if I have to find the projection along the V direction I do the same thing I take the force vector F I multiply it by the cosine of the angle between the force F and the direction V which is uh, 45 degrees right there so this is once again 250 times cosine of 45 which gives me 176.8 newtons approximately and uh, just to summarize uh, all the information that we have so far I'm going to try and uh, draw these on the same page they might uh, come across as a little bit cluttered uh, but here goes so I have the V direction and then I have the U direction right so this is going to be V this is going to be U then I had the force vector F and I know that uh, if I had to find the components I would have had to draw lines which were parallel to V and parallel to U so here was a line that was uh, parallel to the U direction and then there was a line that was uh, parallel to the V direction and uh, here was F suffix U and uh, here was F suffix V now if I had to find the projection of the force vector F so here is vector F if I had to find the projection of this on the U direction I drop a perpendicular you see that and uh, that entire thing there is going to be F projection along the U and I do the same thing here I can drop a perpendicular onto the V direction from the head of the force F and I see that uh, this entire thing here is going to be F projection in the V direction and uh, so it is it has to be uh, quite evident that f suffix u and f suffix v are not the same as f projection v and f projection u as you can see from the answers in this particular case so i have f suffix uh, u um, the final answers were uh, 183.01 and uh, f suffix v the final answer here was um, I think um, 129.4 and if I look at the projections I had F projection along the U direction was 216.5 Newtons and uh, if I look at uh, F projection along the V direction this was 176.8 Newtons and so you can obviously see that these are not the same and as you can see from the construction you see that if I look at uh, F suffix uh, U and if I look at uh, the projection I see that the projection of um, 
the force vector f on u is slightly longer in magnitude than f suffix u and this is evident in the uh, magnitude itself you see that the component is 183 newtons approximately the projection is 216 or 217 newtons so slightly bigger and uh, the same story holds true for these two guys as well uh, if i look at uh, these two guys here you see that uh, based on the construction f projection v is slightly larger than f suffix v and uh, this is uh, as seen here all right and uh, one key thing to uh, uh, take into consideration in general projections and components are not the same okay so in general projection is not the same as the components when are they the same they are the same if the two directions that we have considered here if u and v are the directions that we have considered here if these are perpendicular to each other or if they are orthogonal to each other which means that they become cartesian directions then in such a situation you have the projection equal to the components Okay, so in particular, when the direction is given, are perpendicular to each other, which means that they become the Cartesian directions. Then in that situation, we have the projection being the same as the component. So this is true only in a Cartesian system.